You're watching the book reviewer with Cindy Brady, where we make hard covers soft. Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the book reviewer with your host Cindy. And I have a different kind of video for you today, guys. So I thought I would just do a video on how to pick books to read. Um, you see me all the time with different books, different things, different series, and you may be asking yourself, how does the book reviewer do it? How does, how does she pick these interesting books and series to review? So, most of you guys know um, in previous videos that I do go by appearance and book title and all of those things. If the appearance and the book title are interesting to me, <clears throat> excuse me, then I will read the little summary of the book, whether it's on the front flap of the page or the book cover or the back of the book cover, whatever. And if it seems interesting to me, I will pick it up and probably check it out at the library. Um, that's one way to do it. Um, so, so let's say you go to the library and you have your library card already and you don't know what to pick out. Well, you could do it the book reviewer style and start looking up books and seeing what might be interesting to you, but there is an easier way, you guys. So, most people have a few interests. They have interest in art, they have interest in history, they have interest in world geography, um, coloring, sewing, you name it, the library has it. So most people have those interests in mind. And if you really like learning about something, go to the part of the library that deals with that type um, area. So if you're interested in martial arts, or if you're interested about gardening, you can go to the gardening section. Um, there are a lot of different topics that I could insert right here that you could just look up at the library and just go see what they have. Um, they have DVDs, they have books on CDs on like an audio book on CD. Um, they have those, they have DVDs, they have Blu-rays, about all sorts of things. Um, there was a few that I've seen that are like, oh, this is interesting. This could be great. This could be, you know, type thing. And so, go with what you know. Go with what you are interested in. Because if it's not interesting, you're not going to do it. Um, that goes with a lot of other things like exercise, like like organizing, like cleaning up. If it's not interesting, you're not going to do it. Um, so that is my belief on that. Is if it's if you don't make something interesting, you're not going to want to do it. You don't want to have to do it even though maybe you should um, so go with what you are interested in go with what you want to learn about so maybe somebody's interest is computers and how they work or maybe it would be something more technical like programming languages go check out a book on that so there are a lot of different avenues you can take. You can search the internet for um, videos on that specific subject. You can um, find a friend that is an expert in that subject if you can. So there are a lot of different things you can do. But um, heading to the library is a good place to start for most people. So, if you want a book and you want to go to the library, you can't. And 
picking by appearances and things that look interesting is not a bad thing. Um, that's how I do it. And sometimes, I know I've done this with some series like Beverly Lewis and um, C.S. Lewis. Wow, I like Lewis's. Go figure. Anyway, <laughs> um, once I find I like an author or a TV show or a personality like, you know, Oprah Winfrey or something like that, um, I tend to want to look for other books by that same author, like I've done with Beverly Lewis and C.S. Lewis, for example, or Shel Silverstein. Those are some authors that I think are really great, but you don't have to think the same thing. Anyway, um, just pick what you like. Um, obviously, if you have younger kids, this is not going to be a good guide for you. However, for the younger crowd, um, let's say 3 to 15. So, ages 3 and 4 and 5 are just beginning to read. Um, they can recognize letters, they can recognize sounds, they can do that sort of thing. And for them, picture books might be an option, um, but there are juvenile easy books that they might enjoy. Some of them can include Dr. Seuss and other um, well-known children's book authors that they are there for. Um, so once you get up to reading age, there are some juvenile beginner books that correspond to reading levels. So if you see, if you have a four-year-old that began to read the word cat, you can check out a book that has the word cat repeat for repetition's sake um, and they might really enjoy that. Um, when it comes to the older crowd, there's um, juvenile fiction, which is good because they, they begin to go into chapter books and things like that. Um, different series, of, uh, different series be, appeal to different kids, like Harry Potter might appeal to one, or um, See, Magic Treehouse might appeal to one. So there are a lot of different series, um, Captain Underpants, you know, type thing. So it really, you really have to go with what your child likes too. Um, but you can begin to introduce them to other things too. Maybe they'll have a question about what you're reading. Um, you can talk about reading and do those things as well. So. I hope you guys got some good tips on picking books and um, if you have questions for me, leave them down in the comments below. I will try to answer them either in the comments or I can, if it is a question that is asked a lot, then I might just make a video about it. So thanks for watching you guys, thanks for subscribing, keep reading, don't stop believing, and we will see you again soon. Bye!